Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. I'm here to bring you guys today the very first Discord.js bot coding tutorial. I'm very excited to bring this series to the channel. Um, just keep in mind that this is my first series in a while. I did the plugin spotlight a while back, but I've never done a coding tutorial series before. So this is something new for me. I'll be learning as we go. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Today we're gonna be coding our own very our very own Discord.js bot. Uh, we're gonna be using Node.js, uh, the Discord.js repos or the oh gosh the library of course, as well as a bot from here. Um, yeah, so and we're gonna be using I'm gonna be using Atom.io. You can use really any text editor you want. Um, suggested some suggestions is just make sure that it has. Sorry, I, this is the second time I recorded this episode just because I didn't like the first one. All right, that token doesn't work. Don't worry. Oh goodness! All right, we're losing it. All right. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a text editor. You can use just the normal Windows text edit, whatever it is. Um, I suggest using Atom.io or something like Sublime or even like an IDE. You can use really any of those. Um, it's just whatever your preference preference is. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into Node.js. So Node.js is a library that's built off of JavaScript. Um, so yeah, go ahead and download this guy right here. This is what I use. You can use the most current one. Um, it's just not the most stable. Um, so yeah, I use this one. It, I've never had any problems. I've never like, from what I've heard, it's mostly like people making music bots that are having problems with like this one and they need the 9.3.0 version for that. But we're not going to be doing that in this series at least. Um, maybe down the line, I don't know yet. But let's go ahead and get that installed. And once you have that installed, you can go ahead and create... Oh. Let me go ahead and delete this. I just deleted it, but Adam that I made it again. Go ahead and create a folder. And this is just here, I can show you. This is just on my desktop. I have discord.js on there. And then this will have all my bots in it. We can go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this tutorial. And then inside, well, yes, inside that, we're going to go ahead and hold shift and right click and open up a command prompt. This shows PowerShell for me, but I don't think that really much of a difference. It works fine for what I do. If you get command prompt, don't worry about it. So we're, the first thing we're gonna do is npm init. And that's gonna initialize a project here. Hopefully. There we go. All right, so tutorial 1.0.0. And that's just, as you know, the package name, the version. This is what it's suggesting to say. Um, a tutorial bot for the source code description. All right, entry point is important. Um, it's what the file, the main file is going to be basically. Um, I use index.js just because that's what's suggested. No, the don't need that. Don't need get repository. Don't need keywords. I'll just put net for author. Don't need license. And yeah, that all looks good. All right. So now that that's done, we need to get the discord.js repository. To do that, we're just going to have to type npm install discord.js and then dash dash save. And it'll go ahead and download that. This may take a minute depending on your computer. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't take too long. All right, now that that's done, we can take a look at this all right so no modules in there discord.js is there uh, along with a bunch of other stuff that you really probably won't use um, but yeah now that that's done we can go ahead and start making our files so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the project here open up tutorial and then I'm gonna add a couple files new file index.js all right now that that's added new file bot config Dot JSON. So that I'm gonna go ahead and just do this a couple times just to make sure the font size is right. So the JSON file works. All right, token. 
the next thing we're going to need is prefix. So prefix can be really anything you want. It could be question mark, it could be exclamation point, it could be up arrow, uh, that, that. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use that just to make it easy. So the token is what we use to connect your bot to the code. So to get the token, you have to go to discord or discordapp.com slash developers, and it'll bring you to this page. Once you sign in, go ahead and hit new app. Here you can name the bot. Uh, TSC tutorial bot. Go ahead and hit create app. All right, we're gonna need this. And then we're going, well, first of all, we're gonna need to create a bot user. Do that. And then we're gonna need this token. Um, don't use my token, it won't work, I promise. Uh, if you really want to, you can. But go ahead and copy it and paste it into your bot config. All right, next thing we're going to need while we're here, we might as well grab is a client ID. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to this little thing that I have here. So I'm going to paste this down in the description below. Basically. See, I'm going to do this. All right, there we go. I'm going to get mine. So basically, you just replace this client ID right here with your client ID from the bot. And then copy all this. I'm just going to replace this one and paste it in there. And this will come up, and you'll see TSC Tutorial Bot or whatever your bot name is. I'm going to add it to Ned Test. Actually, I need to check something. Uh oh. Okay, let me just kick that. Sorry. I should have cleared this before. I've kind of re decided to remake this tutorial. Or I've decided to remake this tutorial just because I didn't like how the last one went, so I was going to do this quickly. Um, but all right, now that that is cleared, we can go ahead and add the bot. So Ned test, authorize. I'm not a robot, but I'm adding one. And authorized. All right, we'll close that. You can see TSC tutorial bots are right there. And now we need to get them online. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and close all this. All right. So now it comes down to the coding part. We have this set up and now we want it in the bot. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and add the bot config and it is going to just be require dot forward slash bot config dot json semicolon right. and then we want to get the libraries so discord equals require discord dot js and that's just going to go go ahead and grab the um, discord dot js libraries for us all right, so now we want to log the bot on. So bot.login. Oops, bot config dot token. And just to make sure the bot doesn't turn off. Bot dot on ready. Async. see here and then we're gonna do a arrow function and the semicolon where you need it sorry if that's not big enough let's go ahead and let me try and make this a little bigger what's the control shift equals there we go All right, that might be a little too big there we go okay so now that that's done we're gonna go ahead console.log I'm going to go ahead and make the use back ticks for this one and that's going to be for the main purpose that we're going to be using an object inside of this so bot.user.username is online oops I believe that is all we need to get the bot online so let's go ahead and run it so node index.js all right what we got going on here 
spot is not defined, that would be correct. That's because I need to refine it. Constant bot equals new Discord client. And we're gonna go ahead, if I remember correctly, disable everyone. True. All right, I think we're ready now. All right, our bot is online. If we take a look, we can see that it is, it is on indeed online. Um, say we wanted to make it play a game or something. We can do that right here. So that is going to be bot.user.setGame. Uh, and this will be playing the game. So I'm playing on source code. This just seems to be what we're using lately. Save it. Control C in the command prompt to cancel out the bot and then restart it. It's playing on source gate. All right. So the bot's online. Now we want it to do something. We want it to have a command. Um, let's just do the common hello world command just to get started. So we're going to need a new function for this. All right. Bot dot on message async message we're going to use another arrow function here All right so now we need a couple different things so we want to check if the bot is sending this message so if message dot author dot bot return And sometimes you don't want it to really go into the, like, you don't want to have things going on in direct messages, so we can check for that. If message.channel.type is equal to DM, return that as well. This is just returning nothing. That means just get to ignore it, let it be. Um, so now we need a couple different things. Let prefix, oops, if I can spell prefix equal bot config dot prefix and then we want let we want the message itself so messages message array really equals message dot content dot split and then we're gonna split it by using spaces so every space each time there's a space it's gonna save the word and then let command equal message array zero and then args equal message array dot slice one all right so what that's i know i just kind of flew through that but what that's doing is it's breaking it down so say the command is mute or you know say hello and then like it would just make the bot say the word hello. Um, it's getting this as a command. So this is gonna be the command and then this is gonna be the args. And to get the args, it's just removing this. So all it sees is the rest of the text. So now that that's all split up, we can go ahead and create our first command. So if command equal to, and then back tick, because we're gonna be using an object prefix hello it is going to return well, we don't have to really do this complicated nonsense return just so you guys see what it looks like I guess I can do the complicated nonsense curly brackets um, return message dot channel dot send hello I'm going to go ahead and save that. And if I got everything right, which I believe I did, it's online, no problems. Let's do it. Hello. And it tells us hello back. All right, guys. I hate to cut that one a little bit short, but that's all I'm going to have for you guys. Next time we'll be going through some more complex stuff. We're going to really dig into this Discord.js library. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned for you guys. If you do have any suggestions, though, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. Check out the forum. Check out the Discord server. We will be having all kinds of help on the Discord server. Anything, 
you guys would need pretty much we can help you with um at least we do our best to point you in the right direction um but that's all for today guys hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time